and they sent on their journey. Billy Silver on the left hand side, the blue and white silks began swiftly. Seattle Skyline's there down the middle. Billy Silver just sticking towards the inside at this stage. Cold Shot and Lady Vell to the stand side. 900 metres to go. Seattle Skyline now burns up towards the outside from Cold Shot. Lady Vell's about three lengths off them. Billy Silver now starts to tack over towards the outside. He's about a length off Seattle Skyline. They move down towards the final 600. Seattle Skyline by a half a length. Now joined by Billy Silver. Cold shot on the outside. Lady Bell's got about five to make up. 400 metres to go. Seattle Skyline flat to the boards. And here comes Billy Silver to pour on the pressure. Coming to the 300 metre marker. Billy Silver now gets alongside Seattle Skyline. 200 to go. And Billy Silver travelling like a dream. He's a horse with a mission. And he's reaching for the stars. Billy Silver absolutely cruises in by three. Seattle Skyline. Lady Bell and Cold Shot. Well, this is very, very impressive, and at the same time, you don't want to get too carried away. He's a superb specimen, but he has not beaten much here, but it's the way that he disposes of the opposition. Dennis Bosch, he's always been full of praise for Billy Silver. He wins a novice plate, as one would expect. He beats a horse called Seattle Skyline, who's been there or thereabouts. He runs second. Eye-catching Lady Vell and Cold Shot. Of course, Billy Silver, like I mentioned earlier on, he was the lead pony and best barn buddy for Secretariat who won the 1973 Belmont Stakes, the Triple Crown, by an amazing 31 lengths. A horse called Eddie Sweat also named alongside, but Billy Silver, Anthony Del Pesce, just takes him through his motions. And thanks very much to Dennis Bosch during the week. This would have been the longest minutes and a half wait, but it's now over. There'll be a lot of relief as number two, Billy Silver in those colours destroys the opposition back to the studio. Our race number four, the start of the pick six, and uh, the odds on shot deep in the red is obliged here. Number two, Billy Silver. He's a son of Silvano. Well done to Mr. A. Singh and our good mate Sherwin Jerry. I was on course today. They own him. Northfield stud bred this individual and is now two from two. Uh, he's a smashing looking individual. He's got a wonderful temperament about him. And uh, the big plus and the big positive is that he just seems to take everything in his stride and he's a horse that looks to have gears then. <laughs> he's, first of all, we had a bit of a problem. We had to talk to the club, so I want to thank them for at least leaving the race on. That was my main object to see him run, come out the maidens. Um, yeah, big thank you to them. To Sherwin and his partner, what can I say? He deserves a nice horse. Uh, even though it's a four-horse field, whatever, you still got to get there. And, and very well done to Ant. He said he's such a layback horse. Uh, he will now have his horse sickness and get shipped off. Anthony is very bullish about this horse. I haven't heard a jockey speak uh, about a horse like this. He said he's good enough to go overseas. So we, we've got three quarters of the way there. Anthony will help me in Cape Town and yeah, before he goes. And then we'll take our chances. Well, all the best to them, and they say a good horse finds you, and hopefully it turns <laughs> out to be you know, what you expect of him. Yes. And uh, next we'll see him in, in Cape Town. And when does he leave, Dan? You mentioned the, the African horse sickness vaccination, but when will he leave? You mentioned you want to be there two months prior to the race I, this morning. I haven't travelled much. I've travelled to Joburg. I've sent Marty Crystal to the Cape. You know, I will send him there on the side. I'll speak to Sherwin, but at least two months, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, we got 40 days or something for the, after the horse sickness so sure. from there. We will ship him off as early as possible. Okay, you're on a high. Can you help us with anything else left later on? <laughs> I just got asked up coming and up. My day is done. I, I had a very stressful morning. Whether you got a bad horse or a good horse, I think if you got a good horse, it's even worse because you don't want to flop. Imagine getting 
flopped in a four-horse field. <laughs> well, you know what Usain Bolt feels like now when he steps up to that 100-meter plate? Yeah, you know, the smaller fields I've seen, eight, six-horse field jockeys getting boxed in, and top jockeys, uh, Mr. Dalpesh, uh, few of them, it happens. Sure. You have a big field, everything goes right, you have a small field. But I'm just glad it's behind these, and well done to Sherwin and, and, and the partner as well. And again, big thanks to Anthony. So, thank you. All the best. Thank, thank you. you. Well done, Dennis Bosch. Let's get Jockey Delpesh in, and uh, well, the floor is yours, Bonji. No, well, you know, he's, he's smart. Uh, he talks for himself. Uh, he's got such a lovely temperament. He's got a lovely attitude, and he's got everything right about him to be a very good horse. Uh, you know, obviously, today's a four-horse field. One get carried away, but whatever's in front of him, I think he had to beat. He's, he's, he's a special horse. I think Dennis is going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I think he, this is the best horse I think he'll train. And uh, Dennis touched on one thing, force, feel things can go wrong, but he just took it in his stride, very sensible as well. Yeah, this, there's nothing we can go wrong with this one. He'll get you out of trouble. Well, the number's in the frame, all the best with him moving forward. Thanks very much. Anthony Dalpesh. Let's get Sherwin in. And as Dennis mentioned, Sherwin's a big supporter of his stable, big supporter of racing. He's put a lot of money in the game. He's quite an unassuming character, young Sherwin. But uh, this all seemed to have found you, Sherwin. How did you get involved with him? Yeah, well, uh, I was in Cape Town for the Met, and Dan phoned me and uh, said there's a horse for sale. And uh, we worked with Robin Brush, thanks, thanks to Robin Brush, um, and we managed to get him, so it's good. When you, when you first saw him, uh, did he give you that type of feel? Did he have that look in his eye that he's going to be special? I didn't see him much. I was overseas most of the time, but Dennis, Dennis spoke a lot about him while, while he was at the, at the yard. So, uh, yeah, well, he put it to, to action on the track, so it was good. Well, two impressive winners, two dates showing, and... Uh, uh, we now will see him in, in Cape Town, and, yeah. and I wish yourself and Mr. Singh. I haven't met yes. him. No, he's he's in Cape Town, so uh, he's going to get a chance to see the horse when it goes down to Cape Town. I'd like to thank Anthony. I'd like to thank Dennis, and also to Robin Bruss and and my partner Arvind in Cape Town. Yeah, all the best with him, Sherwin. Thank you so much, Dees. Lovely, Sherwin Jeria, Mr. Singh. Well done, Northfield Studs. Robin Bruss, you heard that name being mentioned. Son of Silvano, Billy Silva. We'll pencil him in, and we'll next see him in Cape Town, where. Yeah, he'll be taking on uh, quality fields there, no doubt about that. Two, one, seven, and four. That's the way they cross the line, race number four. Next up, the last exotic will, will, will be race number five, and it is the start of the jackpot, 1430, half past two.